I have articles here where Germany, that pretty much runs the EU, uh, is saying we're not going to help Greece with any other loans. Now, Goldman Sachs goes in. They're the key manager for the private central banks a decade ago. And they tell Greece how to create a double set of books. This is now even in Reuters. They tell them how to invest in derivatives, which internal documents that came out last year in McClatchy News Service prove they premeditatedly did it here in Iceland and Greece and Spain and a bunch of other nations. It's the same thing the IMF and World Bank do as the holding companies for these private brokerage firms and banks in the third world in the last 150 years. They go in, they give the government a bunch of money at 30, 40 percent compounding interest, and they tell them in internal agreements that have come out, don't pay this back, and then you're going to give us your water, your roads, your infrastructures, your government. And then it doesn't matter who gets in office after that, or, or if it's a dictator or whatever the case is, the banks now run it. And they do this out of fiat money backed up by U.S. and European taxpayer money. Now this new banking system that they're setting up, this bank of the world, this new constitution of and by the banks, they will break their bonds with even Western governments, who they're now imploding like third world nations, and issue their own Global back currency. So still have a euro, still have a dollar, still have a yen, a yon. But globally, this private banking cartel will set the value of those currencies. Then they can play them off against each other. And their own internal documents show, came out in 2002, IMF World Bank documents got leaked when Stickless left, Nobel Prize winner, at Economist World Bank, or was an IMF. The point is, documents from both banks talking to each other came out. Look up Stickless. He was IMF chief. Chief economist, wasn't it? Point is that it came out that it was all premeditated and they set this up in third world countries and we're now planning to do it in the West. In Iceland, they claim they owe 10 times or more the entire GDP and wealth of the nation. Then Iceland said no and the bankers said, oh, wait a minute. Don't kick us completely out after we threatened you and threatened to use anti-terror laws on you internationally to put sanctions on you. Guess what? It turns out our banks have assets in your country already that will pay this off. Well, when Greece went under by design, they openly put in as their new, uh, new uh, banking minister an, a Goldman Sachs executive. That's the key group managing all this. They all make money off of it, but that's the key inner criminal circle managing it. And Europe's saying, we're not going to give you any money to bail you out. You must give your private... You must give your government islands to the banks. And so Greece is being fully stripped. Their people are rioting. Same thing is happening in Indonesia. They know what it means when the government bails out banks. They know it's a robbery because they've been through this before. We're going to continue breaking this down because this is the main issue. This is the top issue straight ahead. Joseph Sticklitz was the chief economist of the World Bank. Okay. Here's an article uh, out of Germany. German member of parliament suggests cash-strapped Greece should sell islands. There's another uh, headline here where German government says no aid to Greece. They will go under. And the banks will come in and get everything on pennies on the dollar out of fiat currency they loaned them and derivatives that Goldman Sachs set them up under. And their people are rioting. That's the future of the United States. And all these politicians are now out on the news saying, we're going to have a Great Depression and everything's going to fall apart in the next 16 months if we don't give ultimate power over to these private banks and pass the carbon tax to fund it and all these other taxes. Uh, here's Philly.com. Taxes on soft drinks or any sweet drink. Uh, I mean, it just goes on and on. Taxes on food. Taxes on everything. Meanwhile, you've got the scammer Al Gore caught in unmitigated fraud and lies about sea levels, dying penguins and polar bears, global warming, caught red-handed in fraud, just like they gave a peace prize to Obama expanding all these wars as part of a sick joke. UT... University of Tennessee, to give him honorary degree. Oh, thank you for lying to us. Thank you for making a billion dollars off your scam so far. Thank you for wanting to destroy U.S. industry. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. It just gets more and more. We have to despise these people. We have to expose them. We have to reveal them. We have to let the people understand just how serious this tyrannical takeover is. The public knows they're in pain. They know they're losing their jobs and getting pay cuts. They know the economy's falling apart. And on top of the depression that these banks engineered, they can't get the Congress to pass their carbon taxes, so they're just coming to the county level, city level, state level. They're having Obama through the regulations do it. This is outrageous, ladies and gentlemen. They think you're so stupid they announce, we're watching you over your laptops without warrants at home. Your school children, we're spying on you. We're reading your license plates everywhere you go. We're building more prisons. We're hiring more police. The federal government grew by 15% in the last month. It tripled under Bush. It quadrupled under Obama the first year. More money than all the government spent in the 235 years previous to that. That's an official number. They are, they're going for broke. Once you've committed this many crimes, once you've done this much unconstitutional lawless crap, why not make us go through naked body scanners? Why not stage terror attacks? Why not totally just throttle everyone and beat them into submission? What comes next? They're quietly training police for martial law nationwide. It's coming out in mainstream newspapers everywhere. They've got military running checkpoints all over the country, from Texas to California, from Michigan to Florida. They're openly training an NLE-09 with FEMA, troops from 14 countries to take on American citizens. All of this unspeakable stuff is now not conspiracy theory because insiders were warning us decades ago. It's now out in the open. And you have a decision to make. Are you going quietly into the night? Are you going to go along with this? Are you going to not have enough respect for yourself to realize that you are the leaders we need out there? You know you're good. You know you're pure of heart. You know you're honorable. You know you're anti-New World Order. You need to start websites, make your own films, access TV, broker time on local radio, put out newsletters, go to city council, everybody doing a little something. Everybody that calls me wants to do some big grand plan. No. It's lots of little actions that are going to defeat and bring these people down. We had Larry Pratt on with some very serious gun-grabbing news. Then Ron Paul, of course, was on. Jason Burmans on the Cybersecurity Act. And a lot more that will re-air on AM and FMs across the country. We want to thank all of our affiliates. You can always subscribe to the free podcast at Infowars.com. Up on the right-hand corner on the Listen page, over 200,000 people subscribing to that each day. Don't forget the free Apple iPhone app. You may not even have an iPhone. Your friends and family do. Send them that free link to the free app. Listen to the show how they want, when they want, and live with links to the podcast as well. Great job, crew. Retransmission starts now. Infowars.com. Spread the word about the radio show.